gone to some of the local governments in West Virginia and Kentucky uh, that are heavily, obviously, coal-driven and said, well, you also have the best wind regimes in the country and, and biomass. You have the best forests, which you're already rotating out. Why don't you rotate it out into a, a biomass uh, approach for energy? You still need trains. You still need you know, uh, blue collar workers, you know, it's so what does that mean that workers go through the forest, pick up the dead with the fallen trees, trees and out. Mm. And then, of course, there'll be some that are, are just like paper companies that grow them in rotation, okay. you know, and, you, and you, you cut them down, but you're you're growing them in a circle, you know, over 40 year lifespans or 60 year lifespans. And this could be done sustainably. In fact, uh, at least half the reserves in the United States are under the Appalachian. So it's under the East Coast, not just the West Coast. Half of the reserves of geothermal energy. Oh, okay. You know, we always think of the geysers and, of course, geothermal in Nevada and California, but it's also in West Virginia and Kentucky and Tennessee and Pennsylvania as well. And that's so, uh, you know, that's the whole point is optimize. Don't pick one. Solar is great, but there's all these resources. And they all make a lot of sense. 